The following contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Yeah, it's Apollo Crews. Introducing the challenger from Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Crews! And introducing the champion from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion! Tonight continues the tradition of the highly coveted Intercontinental Championship. Its holder is frequently considered by many as the hardest working champion in all of sports entertainment. The Intercontinental Championship held by over a dozen WWE Hall of Famers, the likes of Stone Cold Steve Austin, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart. Well, that title symbolizes the workhorse of WWE. It certainly has a history of being the largest stepping stone any individual can climb. Known to put superstars on the map. All facts that these men know very well. With the championship at stake, you know these superstars are going to give everything they can to win here tonight. Ouch. Big boot! Now oh, trampling the opposition. Dynamic athleticism from Apollo <laughs> Crews. He is just dominant right now. Sharp one right to the cheekbone. Watch out. Down with a power bomb. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? Oh, Still seems a little early. Just sending a message there. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Not everyone's cut out for extreme rules. Maybe he wasn't ready. Apollo is in trouble. Talk about dismantling your opponent. 
When it comes to clashing with Apollo Crews, an opponent has the rare task of preparing for devastating power moves and dizzying high-flying attacks. Crews able to avoid damage there. Flawless takedown. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. There's so much for a superstar to research when Apollo Crews is your opponent. One of the many things that sets Crews apart from others is an opponent has to prepare to face a powerhouse and a high flyer at the same time. What makes Apollo Crews so difficult to match up against is most superstars who have similar power can't move like Apollo. And most of the superstars who can move like Crews don't possess the man's superhuman strength. Line. What impact. Big E making a statement as we speak. Backbreaker. Time backbreaker. A oh, right to the gut. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. Now he hurt DDT! Back in from the floor. Without question, there's no doubt how prestigious the Intercontinental Championship is here in WWE. Here's Cruz with some offense of his own. Guys, this is what makes Apollo so devastating. Yeah, the ability to quicken the pace. This is where Apollo Cruz thrives. Got it. Michael, that sledgehammer's cover for the championship. Big E quickly getting the shoulder up. Clearly not enough damage done. Here we go, Byron. Samoa drop. I would not be showboating if I were in the shoes of Apollo Crews. Back suplex! Big E beginning to stumble a little. The lack of rules has exposed him to some real punishment. Beautiful Enzigiri by Apollo. Apollo Crews for the championship! And the shoulder's up in time. How in the world? He's calling for it. Apollo Crews has him up. The title might change hands. Apollo Crews is... Apollo's taking a lot more out than he came in with tonight. This is how Big E's egregious hip thrusting was put to an end. Here is your winner, and the new WWE Intercontinental Champion, Apollo Crews! That's a win worth celebrating. Wow, the challenger simply refused.